All right, thank you, Corey. Time for another Heart to Heart with Mercy Cedar Rapids. Our vascular system is an intricate network of veins, arteries, and vessels that keep us functioning at our best. And without it, our bodies would struggle to perform critical functions. That's why vascular health is so important. And today we're continuing our series in partnership with Mercy's Plum Heart Center, a cardiothoracic surgeon, Dr. C. Seeley. Did I say it right, Dr. C. Seeley? Yes. Dr. C. Seeley, thanks for making time Thank for you. us this morning. Let's dive into this and we're going to talk about what is vascular disease? Vascular disease is, is basically disease of our circulatory system mm -hmm. affecting all the arteries and veins of your body. Gotcha. And are there things, maybe kind of give us a few examples of some vascular conditions people might you know, be heard of or be familiar with, sure. stuff like that. Vascular disease uh, can be broken down in, in several uh, different uh, entities. You can have a cerebral vascular disease that affects the brain and causes stroke, for example. Mm -hmm. You can have vascular disease of your abdominal aorta, for example. You can get swelling of the blood vessel causing an aneurysm, which can rupture and cause demise. Okay. The most common vascular disease that we see is what's called peripheral arterial disease, which uh, affects the arterial circulation of your lower extremities, um, which can lead to pain in the legs, and if you don't take care of it, it can lead to amputations. And I, I want to ask you uh, some symptoms of the, and I know you're, you're throwing a lot of things out here. Sure. And we'll talk about best practices uh, for what to kind of keep your heart healthy, but what are some symptoms you look for in this sort of line of the heart? Sure, for example, if you went to see your doctor and you know the doctor will use his stethoscope and listen to your carotid artery, and he may hear a noise on mm -hmm. the stethoscope, what we call a brewery, that's a, a sign that there may be a blockage uh, in your carotid artery, uh, which can obviously lead to symptoms of a stroke. Mm -hmm. So some symptoms would be acute visual loss, a weakness on one side of the body, unable to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, you may s see a physician because your legs feel cold. Mm -hmm. Uh, he'll do some testings and some signs would be decreased pulses in, uh, in the pulses in your feet. Um, the symptoms would be, hey doctor, when I walk, my, my leg hurts. That's a classic symptom, what we call claudication. Okay. It's pain in the muscle of your, of your calf muscle with ambulation. Um, and that's, that's a, a, a strong symptom of vascular peripheral arterial disease. When it comes to vascular disease, is there a, a group that's more at risk, men or women or? Absolutely, I mean, obviously uh, age is a, is a strong risk factor. Men is a risk factor. People with diabetes, people who smoke, people with high blood pressure. Unfortunately, you know, we all carry bad genes. If you have the gene for atherosclerosis, uh, that can um, unfortunately cause, put you in that category, category and everything. Yes. Talk about treatment, because the, the way modern modern medicine has changed, uh, there has to have been strides made in the past. How many years where things are so much different now in 2024 compared to how you would treat something 10, 15 years ago? Sure. Uh, looking at the medication side, I mean, you know, obviously we have blood thinners that help people who have vascular disease to thin the blood to allow the blood to flow a little bit easier. Uh, we have medication, for example, you know, some people will develop blood clots mm -hmm. in their venous system and we have medication that will help dissolve the blood clot over time. In the surgical world, where, which I deal with mostly, for example, uh, for carotid disease, we used to do open surgery to clean out the plaque. Mm -hmm. Now we are in minimally invasively putting in stents. If you have an abdominal aortic oh, aneurysm okay. in the belly, we no longer really open the belly to remove that aneurysm. We can minimally invasively seal that aneurysm inside the blood vessel going through the femoral artery. Um, 
with legs. I mean, we still do leg bypasses, but you know, 50% of patients, we can treat them with stents and balloon angioplasty. And, and we're just kind of scratching the surface here. And I want to thank you for your time, Dr. Lee, for being in here this morning. Our Heart to Heart series will continue as we talk about your heart, vascular health, and we invite you to visit the Plum Heart Center website, mercyheartcenter.org. And thank you again for making time for us. I know you're a very busy guy. We appreciate it. Thank so. you.